Let's now have a look at a simple example execution of this protocol. Imagining that we are Bob. Evidently, we'll be honest now. Let's also imagine that we want to learn the first string. Namely, we want to learn S0. Hopefully, Alice is also honest, but hey, who knows? If Alice was honest, she would be choosing a string x1 up to xn. So this one and she'd also be choosing a basis string. So standard basis, standard basis, standard basis, standard basis, Hadama, standard, Hadama, Hadama, standard, and so on. And she will send to us each of these bits encoded in that basis. So in our case, what she'll send to us, if I start here, she will send zero in the standard basis, so zero, one in the standard basis, zero in the standard basis, another zero in the standard basis, one in the Hadama basis, zero again in the standard basis, one in the Hadama basis, and so on. Now we're going to measure all of the incoming qubits in the basis C. So in this case, because C is zero, we are all going to measure all of the qubits in the standard basis. So let's have a look at the string. So in our case here, what will happen is that we will know the positions where we measured in the same basis. So this is actually the first four bits. We will not know this one. And here again we measured in the standard basis and we know the bit. Here the LS used Hadama, so we have not sure. Here again we use standard, so we'll use the bit. So now Alice is going to tell us this basis string and we can actually identify this. So we're now going to make a set of indices where we measured in the same basis. And I've already told you here we measured the first one in the same one, so the index set is one, two, three, four, then we use a different basis, and again standard, so we skip that one, six, we skip seven and eight, nine, and so forth. Now Alice is going to send us these two extractor seats, y0 and y1. Here we don't care about y1, we just want to learn s0. So now we can compute the extractor function x applied to the string where we measured in the same basis. So in our case, we're going to apply the extractor function to the bits x1, x2, x3, x4, x6, x9. Remember that we know these bits, so this is the same as our measurement outcomes because we measured in the same basis. Concretely, what we're going to do, <coughs> after we now compute the key, is that we wait for Alice's message, M0. And we're going to compute the bitwise XOR of all the message bits. So if, say, the key K0 turned out to be, you know, 1101, one, zero, one, so on, and Alice sends us M0, so 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, then what we compute is the XOR of all these bits. So this gives me 
is 0. Same bit, different bit, different, different, and so on. So now, we have used the protocol to retrieve S0.